For decades, wild salmon have been struggling with what ocean aquaculture leaves behind. Fish waste, escaped salmon, viruses and bacteria, pesticides, antibiotics, sea lice, microplastics. It gets messy, and the debate about whether humans can farm salmon sustainably and responsibly has been difficult to navigate. But the water surrounding the aquaculture industry doesn't have to be so murky. One company has been working towards a future that includes flavorful, sustainably farmed fish, fish that cannot damage or alter the ocean environment. Norwegian company Atlantic Sapphire has invested $250 million towards a large-scale aquaculture project based 100% on land. We're a 10-year-old company and we've already farmed 25 generations of fish in Denmark. It's been a great learning experience and as of today, we're harvesting three days a week, uh, every day consistently in Denmark. So this is not a proof of concept. The fish is actually already available in many retailers in the US and Canada. 2,700 jobs will be created in and around their Blue House community in Homestead, Florida. Massive facility is 393,000 square feet, all under one roof. It's going to be the largest one roof structure in all of Florida. Right now, we're in phase one, which we're going to be able to do 10,000 metric tons per year. Phase two will be an additional 20,000 metric tons of salmon per year. And then phase three, which will be an additional 60,000 metric tons of salmon per year. So total in Miami, after the end of phase three, we're going to be doing 90,000 metric tons of salmon per year. One billion servings of salmon produced under one roof every 20 to 22 months, serving the entire U.S. market. Whereas traditional fish farming requires constant transportation to and from multiple facilities before the product lands on the plates of consumers, Atlantic Sapphire salmon are born, raised, and processed in one location before being shipped directly to retailers and restaurants. Less carbon, less pollution, more quality control. 90% of the seafood consumed in the U.S. is imported. Seafood is actually the largest trade deficit of any commodity. And by bringing our Blue House in market, we're not only collapsing the carbon footprint, we're also going to help address that trade deficit by bringing local production in the United States, creating jobs, and addressing the new reality of younger generations wanting to have locally produced food. At the same time, our fish also does not affect the environment itself. So there is no risk of escapes, no risk of cross-breeding, no risk of contamination. Employment, innovation, sustainability, responsibility. We're working on what's called our ESG standards and we're soon gonna release a report to show how responsible we are. I think the consumers are very interested to understand in details you know, the great things that we're doing and our investors as well. To humans, swimming upstream means choosing the difficult way, but that's what wild salmon do. And it's what makes them one of the most admired and resilient species on the planet. Swimming upstream is what fish farming needs to do to give wild salmon and their environment a chance, while still satisfying North America's demand for healthy protein. We believe that we have the most sustainable and healthy animal protein production method in the world. And we think that by doing this, we're transforming protein production locally. We also hope that you know, this technology is going to help us transform protein production globally.